Welcome viewers to Soft Demi Project Control and Engineering Software Academy. Today I am going to discuss with you about schedule percent complete in Primavera P6 and in general in planning field how it's calculated and how can we calculate it manually in our Excel sheet. So what is the theory behind that one and what the formula we require to calculate in Excel. Can we calculate or can we use that one in manually in uh, our monitoring reports or not? So here we go. In our Primavera P6, you can see here schedule percent complete column. Basically, it's also used as a planned percent complete. You can see in S curve there are planned percent. So that planned percent is based on uh, schedule percent complete. So here I have created a, a word file in which you can see here. I have explained here schedule percent complete. So whenever we have created a baseline, so in baseline, if our current schedule is this one and this is our baseline, so the duration till data date, this is till data date duration data date so a the duration pass from the start to till now and the total duration so we can see the formula here as a a divided by b a is a duration started from to the data date data date is the date where we run our schedule for example our start of the project is we can say in october uh, 30 and now today is 8 of November 2022. So the duration between that one is A. And if our project is 365 days, so we can see and we can say that one, it will be divided by 365. So it will be scheduled percent complete. So basically schedule, scheduled percent complete is based on duration. You can draw also a curve on it. So formula, formula you can see here schedule percent complete A divided by V A is a duration this one B is a total duration D D is a data date and minus B L start B L start is your baseline start because our, our overall schedule percent complete is based on uh, our baseline start date so we will not consider our current schedule uh, dates so we will divide it by B L finish minus B L start. So you can also see this formula, but this formula cannot be compatible if you have a calendar having five days duration because in your baseline duration, the duration will be less shown because uh, due to calendar, it will not show an exact calendar. If you use this this one schedule percent complete, it will be wrong because your calendar is not seven days. Okay, do not use this formula. What is the WBS schedule percent complete issue? So whenever you haven't assigned any resources or any cost to your schedule percent complete, you will not get your schedule percent complete at WBS level because at WBS level schedule percent complete is calculated on planned value divided by budget at completion because at, at, at the level of WBS it's calculated on based of this theory. So here I have just uh, created a formula. In this formula, the cell will be empty. Uh, and if uh, there is a value greater than zero, so it will be up to maximum 100%. We will apply, we can apply this one formula data date minus date and BL start minus this one and BL finish minus BL start. So this formula can be compatible for at that stage. So we need to calculate, uh, for example, this schedules uh, uh, different dates uh, schedule percent complete we can just control a control c and we can go here in our excel sheet and we can just create our schedule percent complete easily from here and here i have just dragged here we will delete the start and finish date column from here we don't need that one also do not need a total float do not need calendar estimate weights do not need it also schedule labor hours not needed schedule percent complete needed but i will add here a uh, additional column for that one okay so remaining duration do not need it plan duration you can write or not write it's your choice so schedule percent complete we can create here a formula in the top i will empty two or three rows so in one row i will just create and write here data date data date and here we will write that data date is our date when we run the schedule. 
we will color this one as any color which we need to say that it's compatible so our baseline project start is 27 march 2022 so data date if we write here 27 3 2022 so this is our data date and the baseline date here we will calculate schedule percent complete and percent complete and schedule percent also or you can write here planned percent okay planned percent you can also write here this both are the same terms we use in planning here we go here we will apply a filter here so filter is very easy while you are just going for that one so we will first of all filter all the uh, blanks in the start because the start is the basic one and now we go in the word file we will copy this formula we have just already created and here we will paste this formula and first of all i will remove this formula restriction e in the data date the data date is d d2 and we will just press this one d2 and we will assign dollar so this column is fixed so dollar in front of d and after d also at bl start bl start this one bl start column and this one is e4 e4 and the next one is uh, data date data date we will apply same formula as a dollar d dollar and two the next one as we will apply the formula as a e4 then the next one we will apply in the finish one as a f4 f4 we will apply here f4 the next one the last one formula we will apply here e4 so here the formula have been completed we will press is equal to then press this one you will see here zero we will convert that column into percent and two values minimum so here is zero and we will just drag down into the bottom can you see this one also we can see here 0, 0.00 here the value now we will change here the date to next month when we press 27 4 2022 you can see the value have been changed in here can you see here 11 point 36 so all the values you can see here the change like that one if you go for the next month for fifth month you will see here 22.36 the same as it is below all the new value will be go for 100 percent which schedule percent complete should be like that one so this is the feeling like one no coloring no nothing here there is no wbs shown so here data date is like this one how can you just use that one so i have uh, another tool that is a schedule analyzer we can use that tool that is very easy tool here we will go here schedule analyzer we'll go here schedule analyzer we will open schedule analyzer here we will clear and now here we will load our schedule load our schedule from desktop this is the schedule the same we have in our primavera p6 xr file can be exported here or can be used in this tool and then here we will add here a gantt chart in select columns we will only uh, press only tasks here and we will select uh, also we can just move and we can also also add here gantt chart also select the column we need start and finish and activity ids and float we do not need float we do not need uh, any percentages we do not need labor and non labor here you can see we do not need cost also and now we will view when we will view you can see here a gantt chart will be created without any uh, the value we have just specified while we selecting for the gantt chart options here we go this 11.72 second taken so here you can see the gantt chart have been created start and finish value have been only shown and we will add here a new column add here a new column and go here and press this one schedule and our planned you can write any name here and you can write any name here schedule our planned schedule percent complete here you can write here data date and here you can put the date here you can see here schedule percent complete we can calculate here by using the same formula I will copy the formula from here and paste the formula and formula only formula 
and when we see here the formula there is some issues with formula at the f at the f we will change from the d to e here for the d to e and then uh, for the start date there is new value for the start date start date is d5 finish date is e5 okay the same d5 and e5 so here we go can you see this one d5 and e5 okay here we will change this one to 3 here you can see there is some issue with formula and now now the issue left in the column can you see this one you can arrange that one to center now apply it to whole formula copy this one and go for the bottom here you will go to the bottom and we will paste the formula here can you see here there is some division error do not worry about that one division errors you can filter from here by using this filter option and you can just filter for that one maybe some division errors because uh, while you applying this formula you need to know about the start date there may be some start date issues uh, in the milestones while you're doing that one so i will check cross check the formula if there is not issue with formula and then then we will see here because you know 27 and uh, uh, the same having the same start date and finish date in the milestone there will be issue with a, a formula this one error always come so here you can see all the values have been uh, just uh, you can see here 27 to 3 the same dates the same date if you have a same date then there will be between error because there is one day one day lapsed so if you have like this one 27 and there is a uh, there should be 28 if i change it to uh, you know you can see here uh, the dates okay it's a seven o'clock till i can change that one to 5 p.m you can see here when i have changed that one to 5 p.m that one the value have been changed now the same i will copy and paste here you can see here this value error have been resolved because the, you have work started in the morning and in the evening the work have been finished can you see this value also considered this one small small changes can see 100 percent 100 percent so this small small errors you can remove uh, by using this technique also uh, here you can see commencement because there is no date for the commencement i will remove this one and now you can also remove the blanks from here and you can see here which value is now started the which work have been started in this uh, tenure also you can add here weekly start and weekly finish this value is working you don't need any uh, you don't need any budgeted values you know don't, don't need any cost you can apply this formula to see your schedule person complete at any stage also if you change here for example uh, if, if i change the value for example i change uh, up to fourth month you can see here 11.323 all the value will be the similar like one i have done here you can also filter that one to levels also at the wbs level also you can filter that one to level two also you can check up to wbs level two for all values how much percentage uh, schedule percent complete have been done for these values also you have available your uh, gantt chart you can see the gantt chart of the value of start and finish so this one you can create that one from uh, this one uh, sheet you can create a schedule percent complete or a planned value sheet so that sheet you can rotate that one into your field and that field will be useful for, for uh, activity percent complete update.